Hi and welcome. I'm John and this is Unique War Game Terrain. Guys, welcome back. This is the Monday painting video. For everyone that's new, how does this work? Well, from last week's weekly Wednesday, I show you, uh, which is a weekly Wednesday Q&A, you guys vote on, I show you a host of models and you guys vote on what you want me to paint. It could be a single model, could be a unit, and whatever has the most votes gets painted in today's video. Now, in the event of more than one model being voted the same number of votes, I do a dice roll. Um, that's, that's the gist of it. For all my regulars here, guys, I would love, thank you very much. I'll see you in a minute. Right, so we have Abaddon, or Abaddon, the despoiler. We'll just call him the despoiler because people pronounce his name two different ways. We have a heavy locust, a locust heavy destroyer. We have Morgan Ra, and we have a space moon librarian. So we go two, three, four, five. Any rolls of a one or a six get re-rolled. Tray here, so let's move this shimmy these out of the way. So two, three, four, and our brain's not we number five. Let's get those, yeah, get that on camera. Make sure that's fully on. A dice roll. Four. Two, three, four. Morgan Ra. So this is the model that's gonna be painted in today's video. Which I've been waiting to paint this bad boy for a long time. Anyway, I'm gonna get him sprayed down and primed up and ready to go. And I'll come back to you when we're ready to start painting them. Right, as you can see, there's a host of paints here. Um, it's actually so cold, I hurt my thumb trying to open them. So I've just opened, I've got four paints on the wet palette at the minute. I'm gonna apply those and then warm my hands, go inside, warm my hands up and come back and pop open the other ones I need to put onto the wet palette. Let's give you a close up look at them. It's absolutely fantastic. What I've done is uh, still lose and drab the base for dry brush. Now I'm looking at this model. This is I love this model. I'm going to um, I'm going to try some stuff that's a little bit out there with his cloak. What should I? I don't know. I'm still not sure because he has black armor, but there's not much of his armor that's on show. So maybe I should leave the outside of his cloak black and just do the inside. The color that I was going to get. Yeah, I'm just going to do that. He's got, a, he's got a bits of armor that are exposed. His chest piece here is all bone. His face is bone. His knee here is exposed, which is not, there's not much bone on there. His backpack is all bone. So, and his arms, uh, there's, a, there's not much bones on it, but there's a few little bits that could be looked as bone. I don't know. Yeah, I think I'll leave the cloak black and maybe just give it a faint little edge highlight or something I'm not sure yet but first of all I know what I am sure with where I'm going to start I'm going to start by picking out all of the bone as that will just that make things a lot easier for myself so the wet palette at the moment consists of screaming skull a little bit of rich pure gold because there's a few little dangly things on him this is uh what are we pallid witch flesh that's the one I hurt my finger on opening. <laughs> that's this weird colour here. I don't know if that's mixed properly. I'll give it a little stir around on the wet palette when I've come to use it. And this silver here is actually Storm Rider silver. Now I'm thinking about putting it on for the gems so I can just try a different technique with the gems and just. Um, yeah, so what I'm going to do first, get the right brush. I can use, use the. No, I use the. My brush. Let's get some some white scars. Uh, no white scars. Sorry, screaming skull. Just come along. Start getting in with the paint. Just one, just one little thin coat first of all. I'm gonna get into those little teeth marks on them.
bit too much. <laughs> very, very thin. And very too stupid. It's like a wash now. Fortunately, I have to leave it to dry and then come back to it. But this is the skulls, the spinal column. Uh, it's pretty much all of the bone work on them. It's back back as well. But there's some gems on there, so I need to be careful of those. And this, am I going to go? No, I'm going to go pallid. I might do this this little ping on his base, screaming skull, or pallid witch flesh. I'm not sure yet. I'll leave it for a minute. Um, so I'm going to do pallid witch flesh inside the cloak there. Because I've got an idea about that. And if it looks good, then I'll do it on here because I've got an idea about this as well. So I'm going to crack on with this, the bone work on him. And I'll come back to you when I've got that done. Right, so here's where we're at. I've done the hair as well because I'm going to paint the hair with contrast paint, so I thought it'd make sense to just get some screws going on it now. There's gems everywhere. Look at this backpack. There's three at the bottom, there's one in the middle there. Um, so there's a couple on the top there. Now I've painted the ones on the top with screaming skull because when I add the uh, contrast paint to it to make the gems or the silver or whatever it is I'm going to go, it's going to be. They're going to look great, but they're going to look different to the other gems, so this is going to be to totally different gems. Now this is the pallid witch flesh I have on the brush. So I'm going to do it on the inside of the cloak, because I want to do something crazy in here. If I don't like the look of it once it's dry, then I'll get some screaming skull on two and just go over the top of it. But it looks okay so far. Um... Something sneaky I'm going to do inside the cloak here as well, so it's going to be nice. Just want to be careful I don't get along that trim line. It's, it's a bit weird paint, this is. I don't know if it's meant to be like this. It seems a bit like tacky to me, like a bit, like it's not like more like glue. I don't know. Maybe I didn't shake it up hard enough. So that's where we are so far. I'm gonna it's actually a nice colour if it dries like that. Um no not if it dries like that, if it dries it seems very weird. I'm gonna do the inside under there now, on this side. And then I'll come back to you then. Right, so I actually, the page which flesh still isn't dry, which is pain in the ass. But I've actually gone with the screaming skull on the base. I think it looks absolutely fantastic. It picks out all the detail that I wanted to pick out. I, I did water it down, as you can tell, it's really watered down. And I come to um, the next stage with that. It's really going to really pick it out. Anyway, I'm going to just leave that to dry for a minute. Right, so let's give you a quick look at that. I'm not too happy with the underneath of the cloak, but that's not a big issue because we can rectify that. So I've got some Stormhost Silver on the uh, wet palette. And I'm going to a bit of tissue. And I'm going to give the weapon a heavy dry brush. Now it doesn't matter if I hit the all of the um, gems because they're gonna they're gonna be done as well. I'm going to crack on with this dry brush and I'll come back to you guys. That's what we're looking at so far. It's going to be pretty nice. Right, so now, there's the weapon. There's a hint of silver on it. It's a really nice silver actually. 
because it looks quite dark and then you just turn it around and you see the silver. I've got some white scars white on my brush and I'm going to come in underneath here and just do the lower regions of this cloak. It's not an edge highlight but it's not far from it. So like, see that little bit there? It's horrible. It's a pallid witch brush. I'm just going to come across the edge. Run it all the way along the edge there. Try and get it underneath as well. And what I'm going to do also on this base we're in, the top bit, I'm just going to run some white scars along that to lighten it up and across the bottom part as well. To really brighten it up again to the bottom here So I'm going to leave that dry for a minute. Right now I've got some Richie View armour and I'm going to pick out the little details like this. Carefully just single that out. The little the chains coming down, well not chains but they're just the little bits that the, the symbols are attached to and that the crystal there is attached to. Um, there's an actually a something on the face here. I'm actually going to give it a little bit of gold just to break the base up a little bit. I think it's more ruins, but if I do it gold, it doesn't matter. It's going to make it really stand out. So now starting to look especially that white trim around the cloak there and so it still looks a little bit messy but we're going to go to the next stage which is the contrast stage the first contrast paint i'm going to start with is this one pila glacier which i think this is the one yeah, this is the one I was I was saying would be great for um, skeletons and stuff and, you know, spectral ghosts and stuff like that. But I'm going to get some on the brush and I'm bringing it in here. This is where I'm applying it. Yeah. I don't want it to pull in all in one place, so I'm going to put some on. Then I'm going to get the brush and just mess around and pull, pulling some away and adding some more back to it in places here and there. still wet but it will give you a nice little hint of what's to come now I'm going to try this colour out I'm not going to try, not try and pronounce that but I'm going to test this colour out and I'm going move all this out of the way I'm actually going for the hair. That's what I'm going for. Oh, that looks that looks lovely already.
Everybody looks fantastic. I've got all the little bits, so I hate when I paint something like this and it just pulls away, it just leaves a little white piece. But that's looking good already. That's an amazing pink. It's more, more of a purpley pink, I believe. Now I'm in two minds about the inside of the cloak. Hmm. I'm going to go with my initial idea, which is Droopy Violet. What I'm going to do inside that cloak is just wash all the bits. My regulars would have seen this trick before. Anyone who's going to see this and go, oh, actually. Give you an idea what we're dealing with now. That's what we're dealing with. Now, what I need to do for the next couple of minutes is just not keep adding, but just just give a little move around. So as it starts to pull in one area, and you start to see more white patches, like a little bit there. I then get the brush in, just give it a little touch, and just move it around, just to spread it out. But that is what we're going for. Very little effort, so it's like amazing. So I'm going to mess around with that, and hopefully get it dry in a couple of minutes. Here's what I was saying about the, the hair. It's like there's a little white patch just coming through there. So just move it around again. I'm going to sort this out for a few minutes and I'll come back to you. Right, so as you can see, it's not quite dry there yet, but you're getting the, the idea of the effect. So you've got this dark cloak. And there's a nice purple shade underneath. Now what I'm going to do here is tell us our blue. And I'm going to go around, pick out all of the gemstones, some of the power little nodes on the gun, just to give us a slight little variation on it. It really stands out. Yeah. Oh, camera, yeah, I'm so far zoomed out. I don't know what I've done with the camera there. I do apologize, guys. Um, that silver is amazing. Just stand up here, that would be nice to get. Now I'm going to let it dry. You can already see the, how the base is looking and that purple's looking. And there's the gemstones up close and personal. It doesn't focus out. It's 
top open with an owl. I'll leave that to dry and we'll come back to the next bit. Right, for all intensive purposes, this is finished. Okay. It's still a little bit wet under there, as you can see it's shiny off. But you can see it's pulling there. So what I need to do now is take the brush and just spread it out a bit. Um, so yeah, in all intensive purposes, this is finished. But for everyone that's a regular here, you know what comes next. What comes next is we take it to the next stage. Take it past that already. Now there's not much left to do on this model. One thing I'm actually going to tell you, what I've done with the inside of the cloak there, I was going to do paint the rest of the cloak with a cream colour or screaming skull or, you know, white scars. Probably screaming skull and then do the edges of white scars. The edge of it with white scars. And then I was going to wash, wash it with this. I'll contrast over the top of it, but... I just thought, no, because it's it's a dark reaper. It's the Phoenix Lord of Dark Reapers. He's got a dark cloak on with dark armour. And he's, there's a hint of colour inside his cloak. He's got a hint of colour on his on his helmet. His skull, his uh, gems, soul gems are lit up. There's a bit of, you know, a bit of light on the base. So what I'm going to do now, this is another thing I was told as well, actually, um, that when I take it to the next level, sometimes I go too far which, you know, I know that myself. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take some white scars white and I'm literally going to, down to like the big skulls, and I'm literally going to edge highlight to be very careful here now because I don't want to hit off the, the cloak. I'm literally going to go around the eyes of the, of the skull to really brighten them up. The cheekbone and the jawline and the nose. And then I'm going to just run it along the teeth. And then just finish by just slapping a little bit left that's left on the brush and across the helmet, across the head of it. I'm gonna come in and get his face. Let's pick out some of these bones here. I like about this, I can come in under here, get these ones. And they're rigid, so I can just literally just not dry brush them, but just run the brush along and it'll pick them up. With this basin now, I can add a second layer with the white scars. If I put the contrast on, I did the top and the bottom. I'm going to add a second layer. The reason I'm adding a second layer is because I really want the, the stuff inside to really stand out. You have to be so careful not to hit. That looks absolutely amazing now. So careful not to hit the contrast or anything like that. This is the difficult one to do because it is at this weird angle. Because the white scars is a layer of paint, it will go on thick and dull itself down. It will go on bright, sorry, and dive itself down. Let's get this top. And look at that effect there. Just absolutely. It looks good now, but it will dive itself down, like I said, and it will just stand out even more. Go on the base. Let's give that a little sort of dry brush with some screaming skull to really make it stand out here and there. So I've gone off camera again. I don't know what's going on with the, the light today. It's just gone 
really weird focused. And so what I've done with this skull, as you can see, and I'm going to come in again and just do another little bit of white scars along the jawline to make it really stand out across the, the cheekbone. Repeat the same process on this side. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start to come along and try and edge highlight all of this backpack. Which is not that difficult because it's just really, really straight lines, really easy. See how, how amazing that looks already. Which is a very simple dry brush. No, not dry brush, it's a very simple edge highlight. Obviously, it will dull down, but it will stand out enough to be really noticeable. Now what we're going to do is the same thing. Sorry, I've off camera again. I do apologise, guys. Same thing again on the top piece. Get so carried away with painting the model, I just forget that I'm actually should be making sure that I'm on camera. So do bear with me, and I do apologise. We're going to get back at the skull there the spinal column and then what we're going to do is we're going to do the gentle dry brush and that's what we have let's get a little bit more in there of course we need to do the front part so we'll give a quick little dry brush over the top the skull and a long there and what we're going to do is I'm going to turn it and just run it up and down the, the bones and into the spinal column so that's what we've got now it still looks a bit wet let's go check the skull the skull looks fine let's give it a base looks absolutely amazing um, double check the skull here right so we need to do a bit more work on this skull here so again we'll come along that come on camera first come along that and edge highlight all of that let's get that jaw Now I want to dry brush the hair with the white scales, but as you can see, the contrast is still wet. Let's have a look at the cloak. It's looking absolutely fantastic. Still not dry, still not looking that, that it's going to dry anytime soon. So now, whatever white scales I have left on the on the brush, I'm going to just start doing it along any darker bits of wood. Uh, sorry, wood of the stone work on his base just to slowly start to blend it in. Just like this bit. Now, and like I said, I was going to, I could have done his cloak and then done it with a different kind of purple, but, and, or done, just left his cloak back and done his, his um, hood, a different color, but I think that looks absolutely fantastic. Very simple, very easy. I like this. I like that silver. That that silver is Stormhost silver, which is a layer paint, so it's actually brilliant. So I'm going to call this model done. I'm going to bring you down and show you some pictures in a second, guys. Some up close and personal, nice pretty pictures. 
if you've enjoyed this video, it's helped you in any way, please like, share, turn, sorry, if it's helped you in any way, you've enjoyed it, hit the subscribe button. It costs you guys absolutely nothing, but it helps the channel out in a massive, massive way. Um, turn your notifications on as well so you don't miss anything. Um, everyone, please smash that like button for me. Chuck any comments below that you have about this, this painting, this model being painted. Just bear in mind, I was going to do the cloak with that contrast paint, and I was thinking about dry brushing the hair there, but uh, I mean, I might come back and dry brush the hair again at a later date. I'm not sure, but for the minute, it just looks fine to me. But anyway, guys, hit the buttons for me. I'll bring you down and show you some pretty pictures. Thank you for voting. And this guy now needs a few buddies to go with him. So anyway, I'll see you next time, guys. Thanks for watching.